Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to do another little build update uh, with the Skywalker. Um, so I uh, had a night off and uh, figured I'd dig into finishing the uh, scale cockpit. So this is what the end result I, end result is. Um, I might have to do a little tweaking. I can just because um, it's not totally centered and it should be about right here so I just need to go into the uh, the, uh, the GUI for the uh, do-it-yourself head tracker you can see if I look over that is that is centered so I'd rather I'd like to have it about right here right so yeah, I've got um, where I'm running the PPM to the Dragon OSD from the receiver. It leaves my aileron and elevator ports open on the, uh, the Dragon Link RX. So I can just, I put uh, just an extension from the elevator servo and uh, the uh, aileron. And made sure I situated the, uh, the servo so it would uh, match right, left, forward. Uh, it would be cool to have throttle right here, uh, but uh, I, that may be another little add-on after, but I just wanted to get get it done what I was planning to do for the last year. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Also, too, I'm going to... Uh, I have a three-position switch on my uh, terrain ace to um, to uh, go through the three menus like the menu and then to fly and then autopilot that's just basically return home but with the dragon OSE there's actually four so what I need to do is go in and slave a channel and open or an open switch on the uh, for the fourth position to be able to turn off the menu like this so, or turn off the OSD like so so yeah so if I can uh, uh, do a little bit of research. I know I can slave another channel. I've got lots just through the radio, through the trans. There's, you know, endless options. I just have to make sure that there is a certain. You could do it even with the DX7 uh, Spectrum. I've known people doing it, just slaving another ch uh, channel off your, uh, say, Aux1 channel to um, be able to go in. See, there's a couple different OSD screens. This uh, resembles a, uh, the Easy, o uh, Easy OSD, I think. Uh, very similar with the stuff up in the top. I think that's the one. Uh, let's see. So that one's got everything up top. So there's a couple different options for the Dragon OSD. It's one of the things I really like about it. I usually use one, I think it is, default a lot of people tend to use. So, that's just a little rundown of the uh, scale cockpit for the Skywalker. It's the head tracker. I think it's uh, going to look pretty sick. guys, I uh, appreciate you watching and uh, as always, like and subscribe. See you later.